I am at the most haunted house in South Korea. This house is built on a mass grave that was hidden for 30 years, and just a two minute drive from this house is a museum that explains the horrors that have happened here. The Korean War took place from the years of 1950 to 1953, a war between North Korea and South Korea. North Korea, being backed by the Soviet Union and China, were violently invading South Korea, who were backed by the United States and the United Nations. While the capital of Korea, Seoul, which is way on the other side of the country from where this house is located, was captured by North Korea, South Korea and the US came up with a plan to recapture Seoul. This plan was called Operation Chromite. The plan was 75,000 soldiers on 261 ships will attack from the west and rightfully take their city back. This plan was successful and a highlight of the war for obvious reasons. However, there was one small detail of this mission that was kept a secret for decades. The day before the mission started, they filled 26 ships with 772 soldiers to land on the opposite side of the country, where I am now, to divert the attention away from the shores of the capital, to have just a little bit of an easier time to take their city back. This mission was called the Battle of Jangsuri, Changsuri, the town that this house is located in. The thing is, this was a suicide mission. Those 772 soldiers were mostly untrained male teenagers aged 15 to 17. These high schoolers were put on a ship to slowly approach land to get the North Koreans' attention and divert it away from Seoul. Up against 5,000 North Koreans on the landing, a lot did not survive, and although the entire mission was ultimately successful with the recapture of Seoul, this portion of the mission was hidden and deleted, as they buried about 400 of these teenagers' bodies in a mass grave, and their families were denied proper burials to cover up this massacre. Now fast forward 30 years, and a young couple just had a baby and found a piece of land for sale at an exceptionally low price. They bought the land in 1980, they built the home of their dreams with a restaurant down below and their home up top, and this home they built just so happened to be right on top of this mass grave. The story is that the original family that lived here would see soldiers going up and down the stairs and they would hear things and they would see soldiers, you know, in the corner of their eye or walking on the ceiling and things like this. But the, I have an issue. It looks like somebody has moved in here. I don't know. I don't know where they are. I've been looking for them. I've been knocking. I've been yelling. I don't think they're here. I don't know if they have a job or what. It looks like potentially waters like homeless or poor i'm not going to show you inside of here but there's a bedroom with a bed and some clothes and some belongings in here there's like a makeshift kitchen and some shelves with some of their personal things i really don't want to go messing with their stuff they're obviously not in a good place financially hello i was really hoping to do a investigation but I don't really want to be, even if nobody lives there and it's abandoned, there's somebody's stuff in there. And I don't really want to be just messing with their shit. 